course, it is Kathy, and I love to be selling. Come on in. Let's talk the follow-up to the spring seller update, because I know you all have a lot, a lot, a lot of questions. I've been writing them all down. I've been going into Facebook groups. People have been emailing me. People have been messaging me. <laughs> um, I've looked on YouTube. So come on in, and let's talk spring seller update. And let's talk your questions and let's talk getting your questions answered because that's what's important. So that's why you're clear, you know exactly what the update holds and you know exactly what pertains to you and choices that you'll need to make over the next couple of months because that's what I'm all about is equipping you so that you have the information that you can use um, to make the best choices for you. So what I'm going to be going over and in depth, um, and I have authoritative answers um, from eBay. So the information I have is from eBay um, in response to questions that people have is to go over eBay stores because there's several changes to the eBay stores and there are an awful lot of questions about it. So I got answers for you all. Um, and then we're going to be going over promoted listings so that you're clear on that. Uh, the guaranteed delivery uh, shipping so that you're clear on that. And then the return policies, all the changes to that and choices that you can make. Um, what applies to you if you're a top rated seller? What doesn't apply to you? Okay, so let's jump into eBay stores first because um, I had a lot of questions from folks on that. And as you've noticed from the spring seller update, there is the introduction of the starter store, which is below the basic store and your basic math is that if you are around 65 listings that is going to be a fit for you now what i wanted to point out and actually hang on a second let me just start to pull it up but i wanted to point out to you because oftentimes um when people are looking at uh stores they're looking at listing fees and what they forget about is looking at final value fees. And that's really, really important to look at because yes, you get the fees of your listing fees if you use up your free listings um, allocation for the month. But what sellers and sometimes the newer sellers and sometimes more experienced sellers too don't realize is that there is a discount for your final value fees. And if you comment happy, in the thread below, I'm going to be sending you tips about um, eBay stores, promoted listings, guaranteed delivery, and returns. So be sure to comment happy so that you get that. Okay, good, good, good. So um, what you want to look at is in addition to your listing fees, what your final value fees are going to be. So for instance, if you sell in musical instruments, with an eBay store, you're only paying 6.15%. Without an eBay store, you pay 10%. Hi, Pam, how are you? Come on in. Um, for eBay Motors, parts and accessories, you pay lower fees than the 10%. Computers and tablets, you pay lower fees. So comment happy. Um, that way I'll send the tips along to you. But you want to be taking a look at that, even if you only have maybe 40 or 50 listings up. But if you're in the electronics category, you only pay 4% final value fee discount on your final value fees with an eBay store. So when you're doing your math, make sure that you include um your final value fees you definitely want to do that okay so i just wanted to point that out because oftentimes people do the listing fee and they forget about the importance of the final value fees um because that can really 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 add up for sellers so take a look at that um big difference between 10 percent and four percent big difference between 10 percent and six percent and that can help you make the difference and you get that with all store levels, I want to be clear about that. So starter stores get those final value fees. Basic stores get those final value fees. Premium, Anchor, and the Enterprise. Final value fees are the same for all 
store levels. There is no variance in that, okay? So you definitely want to take a look at that. In addition, if you're not aware of this with an eBay store, you have a description area which can describe your store and what you're selling that can help you in search. You have store categories, which are awesome because they help customers sort through your items. Um, you have access to a tool called Promotions Manager. That gives you discounts. If you shop on eBay and you don't have a store, and if you've seen slash pricing, and that's when you see a price and then you see a slash through it, you know, like a discount, uh, that's called slash pricing. You get that when you're running a sale in an eBay store. Only eBay store owners have access to that. And again, this is all, you know, if you have 10, 15 listings, unless you're in that 4% category, absolutely selling without a store is right for you. Unless for some reason you want that slash pricing. You go, you know, I only have 30, 35 listings or 10, 15, 20 listings, but I really want access to that slash pricing. Then getting yourself an eBay store can really make it worthwhile for you. Okay. And comment happy um, to get my tips for you um, as a follow up for the spring seller update. So be sure to take a look at that. Because again, when people look at eBay stores, they'll often just look at the insertion fee. They forget final value fee and they forget the benefits. You get a description, you get store categories, you have access to promotions manager, that's the discount tool, buy two, get one free, 10% um, off, running a sale. And you will also, and this is everybody's one of everybody's favorite tools, you get vacation mode. And if you are unaware of what vacation mode is, if you need to take a break for any reason, you are taking a vacation, or you might have a family situation or a personal situation come up, and you need to um, take a break. You need to put your store on vacation. Um, there's two settings with vacation, um, which sometimes sellers forget too. So there's one where people can still shop. So you can put your store on vacation, which gives them an alert that things won't be shipping for a few days or a week. Um, but they can still shop with you. And then there is a setting on vacation mode where your listings are completely blocked and they cannot see it. So you'll choose which one works best for you, but it's super, super handy. Sellers love it. Um, and again, you can use that um, for whatever reason that you need, okay? Uh, one extra tip on that, if you're doing um, vacation mode for your store, be sure to edit your handling time particularly if you're a top rated seller. Um, even if your store says, cause you're on vacation mode, you're not shipping for three or four days. If you neglect to edit your handling time, you can get dinged for late shipment. So when you put your store on vacation for three days, four days a week, whatever, be sure to edit your handling time. And that's my bonus tip for you, but eBay stores are awesome. So again, look at the math, Look at the spring seller update, grab my tips, just type in happy and choose the store level that is best for you, factoring in the final value fees. Now, what I did want to say, because I had a bunch of messages on this, um, a lot of sellers, their stores are renewing in April. The starter store level does not start until May. So what eBay says is renew your store. So renew your store. If you're planning to downgrade to the starter, still renew your store in April. And then in May, as of May 1st, when your starter store is available, then you'll switch to the starter. You will contact eBay and they have promised sellers all during the month of May, but you must do it during the month of May. And it's May 218 in case somebody's watching this later. Um, you can downgrade, you can go from premium to starter, basic to starter, but it's a downgrade to starter because starter hasn't been available before without any penalties. Okay. So renew in April, then contact eBay in May that you want to downgrade. Okay, good. Promoted listings. Now promoted listings is eBay's paid search. You do not need a store to access promoted listings. You need to be a top rated seller or an eBay store owner. So either way. So you could be top rated without having an eBay store. You then have access to promoted listings. And if you um, type in happy, I'll give you included in the tips is some tips on promoted listings. It's eBay's paid search. 
you only pay eBay an extra fee if somebody clicks on that listing and buys the item that they click on. If they click on your item, I've got to grab my calculator. So if they click on my calculator listed on eBay, but then they buy my pen, I pay no additional fee to eBay above the listing fee, final value fee. They have to click on the item and buy the item, and it's a 30-day cookie, so they have 30 days to buy it, and you will be charged an extra fee, um, and then you pay a promoted listings fee. But again, if they click the calculator and then browse my other items because they go, oh, Kathy's items are so great, and they buy my pen, I pay no additional fee. Most sellers see a lift in views to their listings because the calculator, which is being boosted by eBay through promoted listings, brings them into my listings. And yay, if they buy the calculator, but if they buy the pen, I benefit and I pay no extra fees above the normal final value fee. So promoted listings is nice. And what's really nice, because I don't think not everybody really noticed this, is promoted listings is going to be on eBay's main landing page. And let me show you what that is. So hang on a second. Let me pull up eBay's main landing page. Okay. And hang on a second, you guys. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm doing well. Hang on. Do, do, do. Okay. So oops. I want to show you that too. This is eBay's main landing page. Okay. So what is going to happen is on this landing page, see all this great stuff. We've got daily deals and everything else on this main landing page. There's going to be a place for promoted listings. So just like with this daily deals and other things that eBay shows, there will be a place for um, promoted listings. And what that means for you and me is that by enrolling in promoted listings, my items get a chance to be shown on that main landing page. And you pay nothing additional for that. Just by enlisting in eBay's promoted listings, your items can show up on the main landing page. It will be part of the algorithm that promoted listings uses. Isn't that great? So make sure to enroll for promoted listings. That's definitely a win, win, win. Guaranteed delivery. I've had a lot of questions on that. Is It's rolling out starting in March. Okay. The way eBay says they will be letting people know about it is that you will be getting messaged through the eBay message system that you can now get into um, eBay guaranteed delivery. So keep an eye on your eBay messages. Um, so that when you see that, you can opt in. If I hear anything further, I will let you know. And again, that's super because eBay guarantees the delivery, not you. If there's any issues, they deal with it. And it's a way for you to show up in more search. So it's a good, 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 good thing. Now, returns, because <laughs> this is the one where everybody's like, oh, I hate the changes. Oh, this is terrible. Um, and it is challenging. I'm not going to kid you. It's tough. There are five selections that you have. No returns. You can do that. 30 day buyer pays return shipping. 30 day free returns. What means you, the seller, are paying the returns. 60, I'm sorry, so it's free returns, 30 day buyer pays return shipping, 30 day seller pays return shipping, 60 day buyer pays return shipping, 60 day seller pays return shipping. You choose. I strongly encourage you, if you have minimal to no returns, you have nothing to lose. It's like, I don't get returns, let me offer free returns. Do it now and monitor. If it makes you nervous, do some, do a category. Do what you feel comfortable with, but I would start testing it now, um, particularly if you're a top-rated seller, because it's going to be a criteria for the top-rated plus 10% discount as of June 1st. It's not the criteria now. So now is the time to get testing this. 
um, you can choose. You can do different policies on different items. You can do free returns on some, buyer pays for shipping on others, and none on the other. It is up to you. I do 30 day buyer pays return shipping on some, and I do 30 pay the 30 day free return on other. And if you comment happy, I'll give you more tips about that. So look through and everybody's business is different. So people will give you advice and they will also say a lot of things. They will say a lot of things. And what you need to do, and it's really simple, click your return section in your My eBay and take a look at how many returns you got. And what did they come back for? You know, some categories, I'm going to pick something like shoes. It's just going to be a much higher return rate. So you're going to look if you sell in that category of if you're a top rated seller. You're looking at a 10% final value fee discount. So take a look at, and it's in your seller invoice. So look at your seller invoice and look at how much money you get back from eBay for your vinyl value fee discount. Is it $50? Is it $100? And for the very large sellers, it could be thousands of dollars. Then look at the returns. You know how much shipping you're paying on your items. If you have to pay for those items to come back to you, how much is it? $7 an item, $10 an item, $3 an item. Look at what your profit is. You know, if you're making $50, $60, and this is something that sells pretty fast, the shipping is only $3 each way. Free shipping, excuse me, free returns might work for you to get your 10% final value fee discount. I had one seller come to me who sells very heavy items. To take free returns would cost the seller between $15 and $25 per item. Then you have to really look at, is it costing me more money to take a free return? For this seller, it would than the 10% final value fee discount. So for them, it does not work but they still might do 30 day buyer pays return shipping should they get the item and change their mind. Why? Because when you give a return policy, it goes to buyer confidence. Buyers feel more comfortable buying from you. Not that they're looking to return, but they know if there's any kind of issue that they can return. So that's why you want to offer a good return policy. Now, and this is me talking to you seller to seller. If you are in a category with medium to high returns and you are planning on doing free returns, you're like, okay, I'm going to try this. I'm going to see what happens because your profit margins are large. You're selling an item, perhaps that's 50, 60, 80, a hundred or more that you are able to get for a very low cost. Good for you. Um, so you can afford to pay for that free return shipping. Keep an eye on if you want to do free shipping to the customer when you're offering free returns. And this is why. If I do free shipping, back to my pen, let's say my pen weighs 10 pounds. This is a heavy pen. So let's say it's costing me 6 or $7 to ship my pen to you. And then I am doing free returns. I'm paying for the return. So I'm paying for the pen. Then I'm paying to ship the pen to you, six or seven dollars, then or more, depending on the item. Then I'm going to pay six or seven dollars for that pen to come back to me. So I'm going to be out $14, $15. Again, depending on how much the item is and depending on the markup, that can work for you. If your margins are slimmer, but let's say you want to do free returns, consider charging shipping. And this is what charging shipping to the person. You're going to do free returns because when you get it back, you just refund the item price. You don't refund the shipping. If it is free shipping for my pen, when you get it back, you have to refund the entire amount because you did free shipping. Now, if you've got a customer, they get the pen, it was brand new, it had a beautiful hang tag on it, 
and they used the pen and they took the hand tag off and then they're returning it to you and they're doing free returns with the new eBay policy um, and with the seller protections in place, you can give them a partial refund. The tags returned, it was a brand new coffee maker. They took it out of the box, they used it, they returned it with coffee grounds in it. You can give them a partial refund. But if it's brand new, shipped it, I got it, and it just wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. It just wasn't what I wanted. And I return it to you if you ship it with free shipping, buyer ships it back to you, free returns, you do a 100% refund. So take a look at that for items that are heavy because taking the shipping out of it so that it is the item price, shipping price, might make free returns work for your business. So look at it both ways. Look at it with free shipping and how much you get back. And then look at it um, with charging the shipping and do your math both ways. Okay, and comment happy and I'm happy and I'm gonna give you some more tips on that. So really take a look at the five shipping policies, return policies, which ones are gonna work for you. If you're a variety seller, you can absolutely do different return policies for different items. That is not a problem or for different categories. Children's clothes, I have one return policy. My fine silverware, I have another return policy. There are seller protections in place that's on new with tags. People are returning things damaged. If you do free returns, and it's very clearly spelled out in the spring seller update. So comment happy to get my tips on that. So really look at that because there's more choices there than meet the eye. And I know, I mean, just like anything, you see free returns and everybody goes, oh, you know, it's like, <laughs> again, and some sellers never get returns. They just get no returns. They're, you know, very unusual collectibles. They just don't get returns. And then other sellers are in categories with enormous returns. So eBay's giving you five choices. Make the choice that's best for you. And the other thing I encourage you to do is test. Because seller A who sells, and I'm going to pull out my clock, clocks may get a ton of returns, and you don't. And it could be because of the fact that you just have much better descriptions, you know, things like that. So always listen to people, then make choices for yourself, and test it. And, and, and again, more than a week, because you could do it for a week and get a return and go, oh, oh no, oh no, free returns, you know, is give it a good 30 days, 60 days, and really see how it goes. But now, is the time to get testing. I wrote all these notes. Um, oh, everybody's been asking about the top rated plus seal. So this is important. If you are a top rated seller, it shows on your landing page. I actually wanna show this, so hang on just a second. That's the eBay page, that's stores. Oh, hang on a second. Okay, so here we go. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. So I just want to show you guys this. So <laughs> it's all this electronic stuff. So just hang tight with me. Okay. This is what I want to show you. So this is my little general store. This is a friend's store. who very kindly volunteered their store. Now, when you are on their landing page, and the way you get there is you click the blue door, so just let you know. So you click the blue door. So you, excuse me, you click the feedback number, and this is what you see. And see right here, top-rated seller with highest buyer ratings. See that? That's how I know this person is a top-rated seller. Then I go to look at their items. See this badge? This is top rated plus. I'm going to click this listing. Top rated plus. Okay. That's what I want to show you. So hang on a second back here. Now, 
it will show when you click the feedback number that you are a top rated seller. If you do not do 30 day free returns as of June 1st with same or one business day handling, whoops, sorry you guys, hang on a second, there we go, whoops, there we go. Um, with same or one business day handling, you will not, oh, you just saw me, Glenda? Okay, sorry, honey, I'm getting used to this, so hang on, so show, hide, sell up, there we go, let me go back, thank you. Here we go, oh, okay. So click the feedback number. When you click the feedback number, you see top rated seller with highest buyer ratings. Okay. Here on their item, top rated plus. Here on their item, top rated plus. Did everybody see that? So when you click the feedback number, you see that the seller is a top rated seller. When you click the listing, also in search, you see the top rated plus seal. You only see that for top rated plus. There is no seal for top rated seller. As of June 1st, the only way to get, oops, sorry about that. The only way to get top rated plus is same or one business day handling, 30 day free returns, 60 day free returns. That's it. So you will have choice on your five return policies. You can maintain top rated seller status by meeting top rated seller requirements, which have to do with handling time, customer service, and sales volume. And I'm including some of the tips on that um, when you say happy. But you do not get the top rated plus seal, which many of us like, without the free returns and the top rated plus, um, excuse me, discount. The discount comes with that seal, it's on the listing. If that seal means a great deal to you, then really take a look at how to do free returns. And one way may be to charge shipping. You may be doing free shipping right now. And if you charge for shipping, that might take some of the sting out of uh, free returns. Okay, so take a look at that. You can split test. You can take, you know, if you have 50 listings that are very similar, you could take 25, try X, Y, and Z on it, and then take the other 25 and try that. Okay, so that's what I encourage you to do is with the seller update, there's a lot of choices. Choices on store, choices of if I'm going to be doing promoter listings and potentially landing on the home page. With guaranteed shipping opting in, it's a complete win when you're offered it. I really encourage you to do it. But like anything, it's a choice. So try and see if it increases sales. There's no charge to you, okay? The biggest choices are your store, which store level you're going to want to do. And then once that selection is done, and don't forget with stores, like if you're going to try a starter store, let's say you don't have a store at all, you can do it by the month. You don't need to opt into the yearly contract. And you might want to try that for a month or two. Or let's say you're ready to jump up to the basic or to the premium. Again, you might want to try it for a month or two before you jump into the yearly contract. With the returns, because there are five policies. And if you are 30-day buyer pays return shipping and you want to try 30-day free return, try it on some and see how it goes. Um, if you're in a very competitive category, the free returns can really help you stand out. And if you're a top rated seller, you're going to get that top rated plus seal. So really look at what, you know, even if it's only three items you can do the free returns on, it's worth it for those three items. So do it and test it and see what works for you. 
one seller friend that you hear from may get a lot of returns in a category that you sell in, but you don't get a lot. So take advantage of that and offer free returns. So let me just see, Glenda's got a great question. So you can charge shipping and do free returns, you would still get top rated plus. Yes, Glenda, you do. <laughs> I figured that one out because I'm sitting there trying to figure stuff out. Like, how can I help my seller friends with this? Yes. To get top rated plus, the criteria currently is the same or one business day handling. You know, you need to do the sales volume, which is 100 transactions or $1,000 US within the 12 months. And the rules I'm stating are US. So if you're in another country listening, take a look at your site, whether it's Canada, UK, and take a look at what the rules are, because I'm talking for US, is that you offer 30 day free return shipping. It doesn't say you have to 